What's going on, Dodgers Nation? DMAC here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. Will the Dodgers extend Trey Turner? Does he want more than $32.5 million per season? As reported by MLB insider Robert Murray. We're going to dive into that in just a second. Some of those rumors. But first, for all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, interviews, and more all season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section today's Dodgers Nation question of the day how much would you be willing to pay Trey Turner give me your highest amount would you go 325 million dollars for 10 years let me know down below in the comment section but what do you think is a fair contract for Trey and do you think he's a must sign for the Dodgers let me know down below and for all latest Dodgers news head over to DodgersNation.com so after a somewhat of a slow start, Trey Turner has caught fire once again. The month of June, he's slashing 368, 398, 598 with a 996 OPS. He has five doubles, five home runs, 11 RBIs. Leads all Dodgers with that 996 OPS. And if you look at his MLB rank so far, he's 13th in the league with a 3.1 F4. And on the season, he's slashing 320, 369, 504 with a 145 WRC plus 10 home runs and 52 RBI. So he's outstanding. There's no question about it. Earlier this week, MLB insider Robert Murray, he wrote a piece where he said that Trey Turner is going to want more than the $32.5 million AAV that Corey Seager got. Remember, Seager signed that 10-year, 320 $25 million deal. And the difference with Seager and Trey Turner is Trey Turner is a little older. He'll be 29 in the first year of that contract. And as it stands with the Dodgers and Trey Turner, you remember we told you guys back during spring training that Trey was very open to discussing a contract extension. He said he had the ability to compartmentalize if the Dodgers wanted to have some contract talks during the season, and he was okay with it. But the Dodgers, they informed Trey Turner that they were not going to offer him a contract extension. Now, was that a play by the Dodgers to say, hey, we're not going to tell you we're going to offer you a contract extension because then you're going to get comfortable. You're not going to be as hungry. Maybe there's that. Maybe the Dodgers want to see how he performed this season, how he performed in the postseason. And also, maybe the Dodgers want to see how some of these contingency plans would work out. How would Gavin Lux perform this season? And so far, it's been a breakout year for Gavin Lux. Then also, you have Jacob Amaya, another shortstop down at the minor league level. It's really founded at the plate offensively. And then maybe the Dodgers want to give themselves some flexibility if Trey Turner hits that market and they want to see how are things with Xander Bogarts. Are they interested in a Carlos Correa? Are they interested in some of the other premium shortstops around the league? And how much money will they fetch? Because we know that Trey Turner, a lot of his game is predicated on that elite speed. And make no mistake about it, he is lightning quick, a 30.3 sprint speed feet per second, second behind Bobby Witt Jr. And this guy, he changes the game on the base pass. More infield singles than anyone since 2017. Now, once he loses a step or two and you lose some of those infield singles, you lose some of his dynamic base running, does that change his value? I mean, as, as you could say, it does. He does chase a little bit. He hasn't performed well in the postseason. His defense has slipped a little bit when you talk about outs above average and some of the metrics that uh, look at his defensive performance. But I think when it comes to Trey Turner, if you're talking about a guy for $32.5 million for an eight-year deal, I'd be okay with that. 260 for eight years, a $32.5 million AAV. I'd be okay with that, especially when you consider the fact that the Dodgers reportedly offered Corey Seager an eight-year, $250 million contract during spring training of 2021. He, of course, turned that deal down. And then after he signed with the Rangers, we found out that the Dodgers went as high as 200 and $90 million for Corey Seager. So it's clear the Dodgers want themselves a premium shortstop. You heard them involved in trade talks for Francisco Lindor. You saw them trade for Trey Turner. This team wants a premium shortstop, and those don't grow on trees. So if they want to keep Trey Turner, eight years, $260 million seems reasonable, especially when you consider the fact that by the end of that contract, he's going to be 37 years old. But maybe there's teams out there like the Baltimore Orioles who offered Carlos Correa a big 
bag. Maybe they'll go upwards of 300 million. Maybe they'll go 325 million for Trey Turner. So as always, it's usually the team that offers the most money gets the player they want. And we know the Dodgers print money. They have the financial muscle to get a deal like this done with Trey Turner. But one, does Trey Turner really want to play for the Dodgers long term? There's been some rumors he wants to play on the East Coast. And then two, does he want a bad leadoff? We saw how much success he's having at the leadoff spot this season. We also know that Mookie Betts, he's pretty steadfast on wanting to be the leadoff man. We saw the success the Dodgers had with Mookie Betts batting leadoff during the 2020 season when they won the World Series and ended the 32-year drought. And also early this season, he was batting leadoff and he was the front runner to be the MVP in the National League. So to say that Mookie Betts can't get it done in the leadoff spot is ridiculous. Had so much success in his career in that spot. But is that where Trey Turner feels the most comfortable and he knows that spot is locked up with the Dodgers? So there's tons of factors here, but we talked about it on last week's episode of Designated Twitter. We got your takes as well as the staff here at Dodgers Nation. So here's our discussion. My takes, your takes, the takes of the staff here at Dodgers Nation on if LA should pay Trey. Do you think that Trey Turner is worth more than $325 million to the Dodgers? And the reason why we're asking you this is because MLB insider and fan sides Robert Murray, he wrote an article that he believes that Turner will sign a deal with a larger AAV than the $32.5 million that Corey Seager signed with the Texas Rangers last offseason. So we asked you guys over on Twitter, and we're going to get to those in just a second. But in my opinion, when it comes to Trey Turner and $325 million, you have to consider he's going to be 29 years old in the first year of that contract. That's a lot of money to pay for a shortstop that he relies on a lot of his speed to be a great player. But I do think that $325 million makes sense for Trey Turner for another team. Maybe it's the Baltimore Orioles. Maybe it's another team trying to make a splash, an East Coast team. But when you talk about this Dodgers organization and you talk about the fact they offered Corey Seager $290 million in the offseason last year, Trey Turner is a more durable player. He's a better shortstop defensively. Offensively, he's a more consistent hitter. But at some point, he's going to slow down at some point during that contract. And you've got guys like Gavin Lux, who's really had a breakout year for the Dodgers. There's going to be other names available on the market. The Xander Bogartses, the Carlos Correas. How about Jacob Amaya, local hero? He's really broke out at the minor league level. He's really figured things out at the plate defensively. We know he can get it done. Only question is, can he hit big league pitch? So the Dodgers, they will have some options for the shortstop spot. And if you ask me if Trey Turner is going to sign with the Dodgers for anything in the $325 million range, I'm going to say sha-na-na-na, sha-na-na-na, Trey, 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 goodbye. Bruh. We asked you guys over on Twitter, and here were some of your takes. I say the 280 to $300 million with Friedman is most of that money is going to be deferred unless Trey doesn't want that. I think seven to eight years, but 10, oof. That's from Young Jeremy 18. Then Anthony he tweeted, I love how people talk about the future and say we can get someone else down the road. You think the money is going to stop here? It's only going to get higher. Of course a 10 year deal with that high is too much. Like it or not, that's the way the game is today. And then Derek he tweeted, he may be worth that but it doesn't look like it will be with the Dodgers. High dollar in term is there and that's still the question if he wants to play on the East Coast. If I'm Freeman, I'm moving trade Turner for prospects or pitching don't lose him for zero return and then Johnny B he tweeted 10 to 380 million but if you front load the deal higher AAV early Dodgers don't have many big salaries Bauer money could possibly come off of that as well but yes you keep him so yeah those are some good points when you talk about the fact that at one point we all assumed that it was going to be either Corey Seager or Cody Bellinger and now it looks like there's a chance that they don't lock up both of those players long term and also, what's the status with Walker Buehler? Is he a guy that they're going to invest in long term? Will he find that A status once again? So they might have more money to play with than you realize. But Trey Turner, he's an elite player. There's no question about it. And he is a premium shortstop. You have to pay big for a player that plays that position. But I asked the staff here that question. Is Trey Turner worth $325 million? And here's what they had to say. I don't think he's worth more than $325 million. I do think he is worth more more than Corey Seager's annual 32 and a half million average. I think uh, Trey's gonna be a $35 million guy on a much shorter term deal. I'm gonna go with yes. Premier players get premier salaries. Like Jerry Maguire said, show me the money. 
I don't have big league ball club money, so I can't answer that question. Uh, in today's baseball climate, sure, probably. How long is the contract? 10, 12 years, for sure. Let's do it. Yes, because Corey Seager got that. He is worth more than Corey Seager. So we'll see. Will LA pay Trey? It remains to be seen, but he is a great player and someone's going to give him a bag. Do you think that Trey Turner is worth $325 million with the Dodgers? But let us know down below. My name is DMAC. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, interviews, breakdowns, and more all season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you really want to support the channel, smash that like like button. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.